Hi, I'm Sabin Yaakov. This presentation is entitled Ideal Diode Bridge Riddle. It is a riddle or some questions related to a circuit, a ideal diode bridge, which is described in this uh, website. I'm going to put the link to it in the page of this uh, YouTube video that you are now watching. And these questions are just to understand or better understand the circuit and its limitation. I'm going to eventually post a video that will answer all the questions. Meanwhile, if whoever would like to comment or give an answer or give it a try, I will be very happy to read it. I'm not sure I'll be able to respond to all the comments. I'll certainly give it a try. So, what is the circuit we are talking about? We all are familiar with a bridge rectifier for diodes with an AC in and, AC and DC out. Uh, there is a rectification here. Now, the shortcoming or the deficiency or the problem with this uh, bridge rectifier is that there is a voltage drop on the diode. So, in, if it's a higher power level, then we have quite a bit of losses on the diode, which could be the voltage drop in the area of uh, one volt. So in order to avoid these losses, we can actually put transistor in parallel to the diode. Now, these are not external diodes. They are representing the internal diode of a power MOSFET. And notice that without the transistor, it's just the original bridge. But the arrangement is such that the transistor are turned on when the diode is conducting and, and consequently the path here is characterized by the RDS on which could be low and the voltage will be voltage drop will be low and consequently the dissipation will be lower. So let's have a look at how this thing works. If I have a positive voltage here, it'll impose a positive gate voltage and then a negative gate voltage on the P channel and consequently this will be conducting and this will be conducting so we are going to have the path like this and if the input here is reversed here it's a minus well it's a, the polarity of course is reversed and then we'll get a conduction of this part and then of this part so this is the way that this thing is working so this is the way it is working there is a passage here that I've copied from this website, which is very nice, actually explaining the operation of the circuit. And it says, similarly, in a battery power circuit, it is often the case that the loss of the efficiency caused by the series diode to protect against inadvertently battery reversal is unacceptable. That is for a particular application in which you use the diode bridge for protection against reversal of input voltage so in this application you'd like to have a positive here and negative here while the input could be either positive or negative so in order to protect the circuit here you can put the diode bridge so that always you'll see positive here and negative here independent of the question whether somebody put the battery in the wrong polarity so this is just one application, of course, there are some many, many applications to a diode bridge. So in this case, um, the losses uh, will be due to the voltage drop and the sh circuit shown in figure two. Figure two is this figure with the transistors. Eliminate the drawback by replacing the diode with a MOSFET. The four MOSFETs are connected in such a way as to conduct in opposite pairs which pair is conducted is a function of the polarity of the applied voltage. The conduction pair is such as to steer the applied voltage to the appropriate output terminal so as to always maintain the same polarity at the output. In other words, the circuit rectified. So this is the basic operation of the circuit that we have seen. Now here is the improved circuit. Uh, the improvement is regarding the possibility of handling higher voltages because obviously if in the previous connection here I am applying the input voltage to the gates and since the gate to source voltage is of course uh, has a certain permissible range so in order to handle higher voltage we can put a clamp on the gate to source uh, 
terminal so as to clamp the voltage to the permissible value. So this is basically the same circuit, except that we have now the resistor and uh, Zener mm -hmm. diode in order to clamp the voltages. So these are the circuits which are based on passive elements. There is, however, a active solution, and that is adding a active electronics, some circuitry here. This is the, in this particular case, there are some other companies who are making similar devices. This is a Texas Instrument LM74670, and this uh, unit uh, connected here. There are some other pins which I'm not showing. And um, what it does, uh, it's doing the operation in a more sophisticated way. But basically the purpose here is the same. This is the internal diode. So once this diode is uh, starting to uh, conduct, then the transistor is turned on. And by that, we are reducing the losses since other, rather than having the voltage drop of the diode, we have RDS on, depending, of course, on the size of transistor and the currents that we are going to handle. So these are the circuitry of the ideal diode bridge. And here are the questions that I am posing to point to at least three deficiencies of the self-driven topology. That is the topology, which is only passive element in that there's no electronics. I mean, there are some elements like uh, Zener diodes, but no not uh, active electronics as we have it here. And the second question is, what is the Achilles heel of the active solution? By active, I mean this unit here with the electronics in it. So the questions are to point to at least three deficiency of these, this solution and uh, this solution. And what is the problem the major problem here uh, that one has to take uh, care of and worry about. So this brings me to the end of this uh, very short uh, video. I thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found it of interest. And as I said, I'll be very happy uh, to read your comments or answers. And eventually I'm going to post a video with detailed explanation of the circuitry and of course answers to the question. Thank you very much.